it's Jan and I have a fun card to share with you today. It really is super versatile. You could use it for a lot of different things and I'll give you some ideas of other ways, but it's an easy one to put together. I was working on something for my son because while I was out of town on business, he cleaned out my flower beds and mulched them without even ask me having to ask. So wanted to reinforce that wonderful thing. So I wanted a little thank you card and I'm starting with a standard A2 size card base and I'm using this paper tray ink stamp set called Thanks Always. It has some really nice um, oversized thank yous um, and some nice phrases to go along with that. I just wanted to use the thanks from that. And then I'm going to use these basic gray alpha stickers in kind of a chocolate brown to say thanks so mulch. I think this would be a really fun card to do if you wanted to do a little thank you for maybe somebody who does your landscaping. It's honestly just a great masculine card across the board. I also think this would be really fun to do as an Easter card. Obviously not thanks so much, but having the, the grass on the other side, we could hide some little Easter eggs. So I wanted this to be a talk bubble. I wanted to make sure that there was, that I had covered the gift card totally. So I did my stamping first, and then I put the gift card where I was wanting it to be. And I'm just kind of using my hand as the, um, the protractor, or not the protractor, the compass, getting the, that kind of smooth edge there. And then I used a white eraser to get most of that off so that it's, it's not a mess. And then I'm going to go back in and kind of pencil in. I just, I wanted the speech bubble to be the top of the card. And then by cutting away, that part that I um, am cutting away now, it's going to reveal this grass that I'm going to put underneath. Again, you can see this really simple, quick card to put together. I think this basic design would work for so many things. Maybe instead of the grass, if you wanted to do like some waves, if you wanted to tell somebody to have a great trip to the beach or Put some little lace ruffles, congrats on the new arrival, it could be a baby card, really whatever you wanted it to do, just making the little inside dimensional piece reflective of that would be super easy. So for, to make the grass I'm using these Martha Stewart fringe scissors and I just cut strips to about 3 eighths of an inch and did, I think, two of the dark and two of the light. And I'm just gonna kind of add those in. I'm using my zip dry glue because it's it dries really quickly. If you get any um, that kind of oozes out, you can rub it off kind of like rubber cement. So just putting several lines there. And you see that the fringe on the grass is what holds the card in place. So very quick and simple. If you used an edge punch to punch some edges, you could do the, the same sort of thing. And I'm turning it over and trimming it up. And it, I'm telling you, they don't, just don't get much simpler. But my brain has been just kind of going to town on what some of those other options are. And I actually think I'm going to make some Easter cards with this to go in Easter baskets and maybe put a gift card in there or some little Easter eggs. I love having a design, a versatile design like this in my hip pocket because making cards for the guys in my life are sometimes is a little bit challenging. I want to make them such that they don't feel all froofy about them, but I do want to take time to actually say thank you to them and write words that they can read multiple times. So this one is going to go in my hip pocket. I'm going to pull it out for a lot of different things. I hope this has 
gotten your creative juices going and that you um, will try doing a little talk bubble for a card you do soon. I appreciate you stopping by today and I hope that you will come back and visit again. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. That's the best way to find out what I'm working on and when I upload new videos. And feel free to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. I hope you have a great weekend and be sure and save some time for creative work.